My name is Bruce. I've been working bar for almost 40 years now. In that time, I've learned a trick or two that I'd like to pass on to you. So sit back, relax, enjoy the show. We've got a lot of ground to cover. We'll look at some of the forgotten classics and some unusual new tasty creations right for any occasion. Cheers. It's the Christmas season. It's filled with chaos. The kids are in bed. You're exhausted. You're all stressed out. <laughs> you need a drink. You need to relax. Take your shoes off. Sit by the fireplace and pour yourself a drink I call a reindeer connection. It'll relax you and it is so warming and comforting. You're going to probably have two. It's good. Okay, let's make one. First thing we got to do is uh, heat up a glass. Now the traditional method is uh, just hot water. Hot water. <laughs> First ingredient we need is some brandy and I found this French brandy and uh, it's a limited edition. Let's actually open it up. And they only made 200 barrels of the stuff. So when it's gone, it's gone. Saint Remy. Okay. The next ingredient, uh, also from France, Chambord. This black raspberry liqueur is crafted in France, in the province of Chambord, at the site of a real French chateau. Some say that it was inspired by King Louis XIV. But does that really matter? French blackberries and raspberries are squeezed and soaked with French spirits and left to mingle for four weeks. Then more French spirits are added. Fine French cognac, sweet Madagascan vanilla and fragrant herbs are added and then left to mingle. This is where Chambord develops its character. What we end up with is a delicious, sweet and velvety elixir of black raspberry heaven. I love this stuff. Okay, next thing we need is our old friend Grand Marnier, another product from France, orange flavored liqueur. We're gonna mix all this stuff together and it's gonna taste great. <laughs> Let's do this thing. Okay, we got our hot glass filled with water. Get rid of that water. That's quite warm. Works very well. Some brandy, one ounce. Some Chambord. I like that. About a half ounce. And another half ounce of Grand Marnier. And when you're uh, enjoying these fumes, breathe slowly. Otherwise, it, you could hurt yourself. <laughs> That's delish. But not warm enough for me. But I like mine really hot. So, we need a new glass. We need a burner. We're gonna light this burner. And we take our cold glass, and I hope the heck I don't break this because this is a little finer glassware than the uh, last glass I used. Okay, so we're just going to warm this very gently. Pop our brandy in there. Our chambord. And of course, our Grand Marnier. The aroma is going to be just beautiful. All we need is a, a crackling fireplace. I think we're not gonna do any more shows. We're just gonna sit and have one of these. <laughs> oh, that's good. And you know you can't ignite it if you're in a hurry. 
I don't recommend it. Mmm. That's delicious. Make one. It's going to relax you after all that stressful Christmas stuff that's going on, you know. Merry Christmas. I hope you have a great holiday season and uh, be happy, be safe, and please drink responsibly. It's going to warm you up, baby. Mm -mm. Just make sure you uh, put the fire out, okay? There we go. Not quite. <laughs> it's still lit! Is it lit? No, it's out. I think it's out. There. Now it's out. Do we have to light it and do, do that no, again? No, you don't have to turn it. Thanks for watching. If you like what you just saw, support us and subscribe.